Greetings from Jim, AG6IF. Well, New Year's Eve Day 2015 and uh, Southern California. Do you have one of these Yesu drop-in chargers? I've got an FT1DR. A couple of these chargers, uh, a couple of them have quit working on me. So finally had to figure out uh, what the heck was going on. So uh, what will happen is the green light stays on. The red light won't come on when you plug the radio in. I'm sitting here in my shack today. You might hear some radios in the background. So I'll tell you what you got to do. Disassemble. The bottom comes off. There's a uh, little bit of a heat sink compound in the corner there. All right. And then you're left with uh, a couple screws here. And the circuit board comes out. Like so... So set that aside. What you got is a circuit board. The problem with this circuit uh, design is it uses a P-channel MOSFET, which are very static sensitive, and it's connected directly to the, that middle connector there, this one right, right here. That uh, merely touching that when you had a static charge built up caused this part to fail. Uh, right. So let's see. I'll show you where the part is. I'll show you what to do about this. If I pull my loop out, the part, the part is right. Okay, let me let me flip this around the other way. There we go. The part in question is this P-channel MOSFET right there. Let's see if I can get a better angle on this. Let's get my loop in here. Camera's not going to focus. Right here, this part is right, right there. It's a P-channel MOSFET. It's un, it's unlabeled. Mine said H, H11 or something like that. So the fix is the following: um, go to go to Mauser, get yourself some more. They're not expensive. Fifty. Cost me about ten dollars, eleven dollars with shipping. Since the part is basically an unknown part, I chose one uh, that I thought would uh, be, be exceed the uh, voltage and current limits. It's a Fairchild uh, FDV 304P right here. All right, they're pretty small. And you can set them in there. I have a hot air rework station that helps. So that's the replacement part. Also to make things uh, safer in the future, there's a couple other mods you can do. You can place a 100K ohm resistor they're also quite small. Camera's not focusing, sorry. Uh, the Mauser part number that I picked up is here. Let's see. Okay, you can read the part number. 100K ohm. It's 1206 size. And I have plenty of those. I'll be fixing a lot of these. Um, so what I did was I, in series with this second pin, I cut the trace and put in, put that 100K in there. It's going to be a little hard to see. Just to focus in, maybe get lucky here. So, cut the trace right in the corner. It's in series with this second pin here. And I put the resistor right here. That's going to help protect the front end of the gate of this P channel MOSFET, which 
again is right there. The third thing you can do, which I have not done yet, is you can put an ESD suppressor across the gate and the source. I've not done that. It has one built in already, so for good for 6,000, uh, but 6,000 volts. So I'm going to try without it first, but that's a, that's a better solution, and it's going to protect the uh, part. So the problem really is that the um, the gate is available to be touched, and almost certainly you'll kill it. I've killed two of these myself, and I've got um, I know of a couple other in the area that have have the same problem. Green light all the time, no red light. It won't charge your radio. So um, replace that P-channel MOSFET right there, and if you want to add that in series resistor with the second connector, the second uh, connector on this board that's going to help and an ESD suppressor across the gate which is the two bottom pins right across the two bottom pins again I'm trying to see if it's uh, better without that I'll add it in the future if I have to change this part again I will add that in the extra suppressor. A lot of these uh, parts could be fake, and it's possible that the uh, the original P-channel MOSFET doesn't even have the internal uh, ESD suppression. So hard to say. But that's how you fix your Yesu drop-in charger. I've got the FT1DR. Uh, it's the same charger for the VX8 and VX6 and so on. I believe. So uh, you probably, if you have these, you probably know someone who has a non-working one. So hopefully this helps. And this is Jim in Southern California, New Year's Eve 2015. The Shack Cat Bob in the background saying hello and wishing everyone a happy new year. 7-3, thank you for watching.